Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to delete duplicate records from a SQL Server table using row number function. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that how we can delete the duplicate records from a SQL Server table using row number function. So without wasting further time, let's jump to the demo. So deleting the duplicate records from a SQL Server table, this is a very common practice in SQL Server development or in ETL development as well. So we will see if we have some duplicate records in a table then how we can delete the duplicate records. So in this particular video we will be using the employee table. So I have a script which can drop the employee table if the employee table exists and then it can create the employee table and then it inserts 12 records into the employee table. So if you see here the record number 11 John Doe and the Michael Johnson these two records are duplicate. For example John Doe is present as the first record in the table and the Michael Johnson this is present as the third record in the table okay so let me execute this particular query so it has inserted 12 records into the employee table and now this record John Doe this is duplicate and then the Michael Johnson this is duplicate as well but how we can uh, get the duplicate records using a SQL query and how we can delete the duplicate records so we will use the row number function to find the duplicate records along with the CT and then the same row number function we can use in the CT to delete the duplicate records as well. So in the row number function we need to pass the columns based on which columns you want to find the duplicate records or you want to delete the duplicate records. So I want to delete the duplicate records based on the first name and the last name. So I will pass these two columns in the row number function. So how we can write the query? Or uh, We can use the CTE with CTE as okay and then I can write the query select a star and after a star I can use the row number function so I can write row number okay and then over and now we need to write the partition by so when we write the partition by so we need to provide the list of columns based on which columns you want to find the duplicate records so I want to find the duplicate records based on the first name and last name so I can write first name comma last name okay and then we need to use the order by clause this is the uh, you know necessary syntax so in the order by clause uh, you can actually give the column based on which column you want to sort the data so for example uh, this is the John Doe record this is the first record and this is the second record so if I sort the data based on the ID column then the first record it will come on the top and this record it will come on the bottom side similarly if you want to put this particular record on the top side then you need to sort the data based on the ID DES you know you need to sort the data in the descending order so this is how the order by clause is used so I can put order by ID and then I can call this new column as RN row number okay from and then the table name so our table name is employee so I can copy and paste the employee table here and then I can close the bracket and then I can write the select statement select star from CTE so this will show you the data all columns along with one extra new column rn column so what rn column will do it will assign the value one to first unique record and then it will assign the value two to the next duplicate record so let me show you like what i'm talking about so if a record will be unique then first time the value of rn will be one but if same record is present and second time then the value of the rn will be two here and same way so you can see that Ron John Doe this is first record which is unique but this is duplicate record so the RN is 2 here so let me try to uh, put the ID as 13 here and let me try to execute this particular insert statement so now the John Doe is inserted 3 times ok so if you see the data from the employee table so now you can see that there are 3 records for John Doe so if I rerun this particular query then now you can see that for the first record of John Doe where the RN is 1 this is unique no, but now the where RN is 2 this is duplicate ok and where RN is 3 so this is duplicate as well so if you want to find the duplicate record so you need to select the records where RN is not equal to 1 so I can write a condition where RN is greater than 1 maybe ok so if you execute this particular query then this will return these duplicate records ok and this record so it will show you 3 records and these three records are the duplicate records now we know what are the duplicate records and if you want to for example delete these duplicate records then you can simply 
replace the select star with the delete keyword so i can write delete here now if i execute this particular query then it will delete these three records so i can execute this one so you can see that the three rows affected so now the records will be deleted and now if i will convert the delete query with the select query and if you will try to rerun the select statement then you won't find any duplicate records because the duplicate records have been deleted from the employee table so now the value of rn is one for all the records so for all the unique records the value of the rn will be one and for all the duplicate records the value of rn will be greater than one so here we are calculating the duplicate records based on the first name and last name but suppose if you want to add some more columns like maybe salary column so you can uh, put the salary column as well okay so guys this was how like you can find the duplicate records and you can delete the duplicate records from a sql server table so if you got any question then you can comment on the video and you can download this particular script from the link in the description of the video yeah, so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time we do new video thank you so much